I'm here to talk about my nine year old son has autism, epilepsy, and ADHD, and talk about the sticker books we've been using. We use this one every time he listens to an audio book. He does a little bit in a sticker book. So he defeated that one. He he finished uh, this one, and we're currently working on uh, this one. If you love these sticker books, I highly recommend them. They're great to do while he listens to his audio book. And we also have been doing Yeah, he's also doing quizzes. We finished this anatomy quiz. And they're by chapters. So this one was chapter 8 to 9. He did the 10 to 11 quiz and a bunch of other quizzes. But yeah, those are the quizzes. He's also been coloring in his anatomy coloring book that comes with the book series we are reading currently. If you have a kid that loves to color, I recommend his anatomy coloring book. He's not a very good color. But again, something to do while you listen to the audiobook. And we've been doing our Vintage and Sassafras book. We are currently on chapter 15 of 18 chapters. We absolutely love this. This is about the anatomy. When we're done, we'll probably just do a bunch of encyclopedias afterwards. But we really like this series. Highly recommend it. It was like seven books. I can't wait to see the next one, which I think is on botany. And the first one was on geology, by the way. So we're absolutely loving this. We did science. We've been working through the science grade one book. It's just do some other things besides anatomy so that he can pass down his test. We did uh, this one. We are doing the anatomy. And we are currently on... We have done thinking. And there was a, a uh, memory game. He cut out and do. We did the brain. He absolutely loved. Uh, the digestive... The nervous system and the spinal cord. I actually love that one too. Highly recommend this book. We are currently doing the human body, but it's also about plants and animals. Highly recommend this book. It's, it can be for grade K to 12. Um, we did some practices in the my printing book. It's been really helping with the printing. I even pulled this book out when he's having trouble writing a letter to show him remembering how to write stuff. We currently did... We did these two with some words, which he did really well on. And then we did some IU words. So I highly recommend this. We have been reading in a not too small a mouse, not not too small at all a mouse tail book. It's about Noah's Ark. We're almost done with it. And we'll move on to the next book, which is this one, uh, Tight and Trike. Uh, Adventure to Grand Canyon. It's in our file. We'll be getting it out. Yeah, he did some spelling tests. He's just been working really, really hard in this book, learning words. And he's doing really, really well at it. I'm so impressed with him on this. He's also been working in the big book of spelling. He was doing this in ABA when we did ABA, but when we stopped ABA, we continued using it. Let's see. When did ABA stop using this? Okay, ABA stopped using this in June, and they were on page 80, and we have done seven pages since then. Um, the only reason we haven't done any more than that, because I was doing it as extra work, but then it started getting to things like this, and I really want to do it every day, because he really knows his definition of words. I am impressed by it. I'm impressed by this whole book, so I've been doing more and more of it lately, and he's really loving it. Um, we're still doing our reading aid. We finished reading a book called Eggs on Legs, and he did really well. He had a little trouble with unscrambling the sentence, but after him read it and go through it slowly, he got it right. But when we will be starting on this book, Lesson 77 soon. I cannot wait to read that book. And there's a hundred and something pages in here. And there's certain lessons in here. And we're just checking along. Hopefully it's okay. Because it's a computer-based program that he does by himself. Except he does mostly by himself. Except 
he can't advance. Like, if he managed to pass second grade, he would still have to finish first grade because, well, it's a computer based program and now I can't advance him. But he's doing really well. He's doing really well. Uh, we're also doing Massive, which he is further along than he is in reading age, I believe. Or oh, might not be further along, I'm not sure. Well, no, he's further along in being age than he is in Massive. We did take a break at some point during Massive to focus on other stuff. But he has been doing heavy and light. He did group uh, doubling. He, he's absolutely loving this book, and so am I. We do it along with the, uh, two other math programs because this one is more uh, core, common core. And I feel like if he doesn't practice the other skills that they don't, that they're not focusing on right now, he might lose them because of his epilepsy. So he does this book, which is Practice Make Perfect by Piggy Math, uh, Math and Living Education, which he calls Piggy Math. And we're on lesson 20. And do. He managed to count by twos, mostly by himself, and he knows they count by tens. I've never gotten him to count by twos for me. Like he just did. I'm so impressed. And it goes along with this book, Math and Living Education, Piggy Math, uh, le Level 1. Piggy math is what we call it. The next one is math lessons for the level two, which is dog math. That's what we call them. He likes calling by the animals, so I go with it. And we're currently working on lesson 20, and he's doing really well with it. So I'm just going at his own pace for these. This is what we'll do next. And I'm going to 21. He's loving it. But along with that, we also do uh, school Zone's a big book of math. We're doing this one in ABA as well. And they stopped. Where did they stop? Okay, they stopped in page 27 and we started doing it again. So we picked it up and just started doing it occasionally. But lately I've been doing more and more of it because he's been loving to do math problems. So I've been letting him do it because he gets to do adding and subtracting when his other books don't do adding and subtracting. Like, he worked on this page today, he had trouble getting it all done, but he'll pick it up tomorrow and finish, and I'll put a date where he starts tomorrow. And he's loving doing the math problem, so I give this to him so he can do math every, math, adding and subtracting every day, because he loves doing it. We've also been doing social studies. We were doing the kindergarten one, and after a while I just decided just to advance him to first grade one. And it's a simple little first stage just to pass the standardized test. Because we do a lot of history, which isn't what's on standard test, so we it, so we do this just to pass the standard test. Hello, kitty. Can you move, please? We also do social-emotional learning. I picked up the kindergarten and the first grade one. We tried to open the first grade one, but it's a lot of, he had to say something and write it. And I didn't feel like he could do that yet, so we're doing this. We did language learning, so we're doing this first and hoping that it will spark him to start telling about his emotions. Because right now... He, he mostly claims he's happy or fine, and sometimes he, I don't think he is. So we're just trying to get him to understand emotions. And we've been doing a lot of link cubes. So that is everything we've been doing in, in math and science, and language arts, and social emotional learning, and social studies for the week. If there's any of you have any questions, please leave a comment below.